in progress. Jai Shankar, Aji Hanga KSH, Jagatik Mahila Dina Che Karikramatsa Suruvata, A Usha Surkun, Sabha Prarambha Prathane Nekarta. Om Dakshinasya Samarambha, Shankara Acharya Madhyama, Asmada Acharya Pariyanta, Smarya Guru Parampara, Shuti Smuti Purana Nam, Alayam Karunalayam, Namami Bhagavat Padam, Shankaran Loka Shankaram, Shankaram Shankara Acharyam, Keshavam Padarayanam, Sutra Bhashaka Tauvande, Bhagavanta Uppuna Punaha, Ishvaro Guru Ratmeti, Murti Beda Vibhagine, Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya, Dakshina Murtaye Namaha, Paridnana Ashrama, Shri Guru Shankara, Paridnana Ashrama, Shankara Sadguru, Keshava Vamana, Krishna Panduranga, Ananda Paridnana Guru, Sadyojata Shankara Sadguru, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Husakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Om Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Ubunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejas Vinavadi Tamas Tumavit Vishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Kendra Saraswat Association at Javatine, Anga Upastit Ashil Sagrankai, Manapurvak Swagat. Vishesh Kornu, Angal Mukya Atiti, Srimati Maitrei, Sana Adipachi, Ani Sanmani Zatalyo, Pratibhavanta Mahila, Srimati Aditi Gangoli, Dr. Suman Munkur, Dr. Bharati Narkarni, Srimati Arati Saur, Dr. Shoba Urpi, Hankai Agatyatso Swagat. Tashichi, K. S. H. Adyaksha, Shri Kishor Masur Karmam, Upadyaksha, Shri Uday Gurkarmam, Karya Adyaksha, Shri Mahesh Kalyan Purmam, Upa Karya Adyaksha, Shri Rajan Kalyan Purmam, Ani Ya Sagra Karekamatso Sutradhar, Shri Sunil Ullar Mam, Tagal Sahayak, Ani K. S. H. Sachiv, Shrimati Ashwini Prashant, Hani Ya Sabechi Shoba, Vadela. Baki Committee Sadasha, Ani YouTube तरफे अम्म चंसांगाती आशीलांका स्वागत है सब अतहामा किशोर मासूर कर्मा विनंती करता कि तानी दोन शब्द उल्लोंग का धन्यवाद या या थैंक यू शा पची जय शंकर नमस्कारु आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ आवर केएसएस 18 इंटरनेशनल विमेंस डे वी फील वेरी मच प्राउड that our women from our Chitrapur Saraswat community have achieved great success in various fields, from literature to science, from social work to entrepreneurship. In entrepreneurship, now there are many women have come into entrepreneurship. They have excelled almost in every field. In the past many years, I mean, we know that that many of our women have also taken part in even in the freedom struggle. Let me. Today's, uh, for, for, for today's function, let me congratulate all the women achievers whom we will be felicitating today for their extraordinary work, in uh, uh, extraordinary accomplishments in their own fields. They are the role model for our young Amchi girls. Because we are all very eager to hear from these successful ladies uh, regarding their achievements, I once again Thank you all for being here in this felicitation ceremony. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Kishore Ma'am. Your speech is very inspiring indeed. It will actually encourage not only our women achievers, but all of us in the audience. Thank you also for taking time out from your busy schedule and guiding us. Also, one small gratitude. Thank you for your support for holding today's function online. Mm -hmm. Jai Shankar, everybody. A very good evening to you all. I am Ashwini Prashant. And before we start, I would like to give a brief history of the International Women's Day. In the year 1975, the United Nations declared March 8th as International Women's Day. This was done 
to commemorate the movement by women on this day more than three decades back for equal rights in voting, pay, and working hours. This is something we take for granted today. On March 8th every year, International Women's Day is celebrated the world over. And on this day, women achievers are felicitated and recognized for their achievements. The idea of Chitrapur Saraswat Mahila Devas, that is KSA International Women's Day, was conceptualized and initiated by our senior social worker, late Professor Kalindi Muzumdar Pachi. She was KSA president at that time, and she started this in the year 2007. On this day, KSA honors talented Amchi women achievers who have excelled in their respective fields. From 2007 to 2023, KSA has honored 92 women achievers as well as one institution, Samvit Sula. Today, it is indeed my honor to introduce our chief guest, Mrs. Maitrey Sanadi Pachi, and the following women achievers Mrs. Aditi Gangoli for outstanding contribution in the field of senior care. Dr. Suman Munkur for mentoring the lifelong learners, Dr. Bharati Narkani for women empowerment in life sciences, Mrs. Arti Savur for women empowerment in the field of education, Dr. Shobha Uripi for a contribution in medical research. I will now start by introducing our chief guest, Mrs. Maitre Sanari. Maitre Pachi is a BSc with honors from Delhi University. She is a certified associate of Indian Institute of Banking, as well as a licentiate in general insurance from Insurance Institute of India. She joined State Bank of India as a probationary officer and completed more than 34 years in various assignments in India, as well as in Japan, where she was posted for three and a half years. Her journey from junior level management to top executive grade covers her role in various fields in banking, including corporate credit, risk management, retail banking, HR, learning and development, internal audit, as well as general insurance. Post her retirement, Maitre Pachi was elected on the board of SVC Cooperative Bank in June 2018. She continues to serve on various board committees such as loans, finance and accounts, IT, risk and compliance, etc. She is also the chairperson of the audit committee. She is very passionate about encouraging young women in pursuing their careers as well as in maintaining the work-life balance, which is very important today. She also mentors the youth in soft skills. She is currently associated with an NGO, Team Everest. This NGO provides quality education to underprivileged children through its volunteers. One of the initiatives by Team Everest is called Speak Out. Here, the volunteers guide the students, especially underprivileged girls, through phone calls. And this is done to improve their English communication skills. Maitri Pachi, what you're doing is truly very good. We now request you to say a few words for our women achievers. Good evening to all. Thank you, Ashwini, for your kind introduction. At the outset, I would like to thank the Kandra Saraswat Association for organizing this function to celebrate International Women's Day 2024 and inviting me to be present on this occasion. We have gathered today to celebrate the remarkable achievements and contributions of the five women who are being honored. As we honor them today, let us also recognize that the mission of gender equality needs constant dedication, collaboration, and unwavering commitment. Let us hope that we progress toward a world where every woman's voice is heard, every woman's leadership is valued, and every woman's achievements are celebrated. 
it is hard thing to see women excelling in every field be it science technology arts finance social work or in the corporate boardrooms or in media entertainment or in space research by sheer determination hard work and innate talent many women have proven themselves in their chosen profession job or business they have reached great heights after overcoming immense pressures social and otherwise the role of a woman which was earlier seen as a housewife has evolved over time and now she is expected to work outside the home to earn and contribute towards the financial needs of the household at the same time she is expected to shoulder the major share of household responsibilities including caring for the children and senior members of the family i realized this in one challenging assignment as a branch manager of a branch where all the staff were ladies and absenteeism was rampant so much so i ended up attending to the counters on some days as a woman branch manager i was expected to be understanding and to grant leave to these ladies which for most part were for genuine reasons but it is these very lady staff who rallied around me at the time of annual closing and we spent the night in the branch on 31st march till we arrived at the profit figure of the branch this was in the pre computerization era and therefore it was more challenging i was indeed grateful to them for extending themselves to work as a team when they were most needed it is not easy to be a woman and have two careers one outside the home and one to manage the household i am sure some of you have faced the same challenges of having to walk the tight rope of balancing a full time career and a home despite these challenges women make excellent managers due to the diverse experience they have had and their high emotional quotient they are born multitaskers despite these challenges you must have heard about the episode narrated by indra nui the pepsico's first woman chief executive her mother told her that when she came home she was no longer a ceo but a wife a mother and a daughter no one else could take her place it is rarely possible to be a perfect wife mother or worker at the same time understanding the conflict is the first step in finding solutions indra nui said it is important to understand that each choice has its own sacrifice and that it is impossible to have it all so it is important to strike the right work life balance while the opportunities appear to be endless and the road to equality is through persistent effort and determination mind you it is not easy even in today's advanced world biases against women still exist as many studies in businesses have shown that women work twice as hard but earn less than their male counterparts for the same responsibilities now it is up to us women to persevere and to achieve our dreams and ambitions women need to be mindful of their choices and build us a good support network having worked in sbi for 34 years i am now happy to be in a non executive and advisory role on the board of svc bank where i believe the skills and the knowledge that i have gained would be of help to the bank in achieving its goals in conclusion i would like to mention some of the learnings that have helped me in my career we need to make mindful choices and build a strong support network we need to gather all the relevant job knowledge or know how and be well informed 
never stop learning. Never compromise on your values. Give back to society in whatever little way you can. Remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Whenever things are not going as you expect them to go, persevere. Don't quit. With this, I conclude and wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Maitri Pachi. Your words are really very inspiring and I'm sure it will hold us all in good stead in the future. Thank you so much. Today, it is indeed my pleasure to introduce our women achievers now. Mrs. Aditi Gangoli. She has a postgraduate degree in physical science. She has also taken formal training in counseling from IC3 and Cambridge International. Her profound background in academics and decade-long tenure as one of the lead members of Apodar International School has helped Aditi Pachi to bring her experience in education and administration in her current role. She is dedicated to the well-being of seniors and has channeled her passion for social service into founding NISA Care. This is a pioneering organization focused on senior care. Understanding the challenges of senior citizens staying alone and the need for essential care services for them, Aditi Pachi and her team have made it their mission to bridge the gap between the generations. They provide comprehensive care services which are tailored to each senior's specific needs, all within the comfort of their respective homes. What sets NISA Care apart? is its unwavering commitment to excellence in care and it is built on four key pillars, empathy, engagement, entertainment and emergency services. As the wife of a defense officer, Aditi Pachi has also been involved with the Army Wives Welfare Association, which is India's largest NGO. This NGO is dedicated to supporting soldiers' family and empowering army wives. This lifelong association has instilled in her a strong sense of empathy and a commitment to serving the community. She has made a significant impact on the lives of senior citizens through NISA Care, enhancing its role as a platform for social betterment. I now request Maitri Pachi to kindly felicitate Aditi Gangoli Pachi. Congratulations, Aditi, and wish you all the very best. KSA honors Mrs. Aditi Gangoli for outstanding contribution in the field of senior care. Thank you, Maitre Pachi. Aditi Pachi, may I request you to say a few words, please? And thank you, Ashwini, for such a warm welcome. And good evening, everyone. Maitre Pache, your speech was so impactful, especially your words saying one should be mindful of one, what one does and also one should follow the dreams. So I hope you all are eagerly anticipating this weekend as much as I am looking forward to sharing my acceptance speech. Uh, it's genuinely humbling for me to receive this honor from the esteemed Kandra Saraswat Association. Thank you, Kishore Masurkar Ma and your team for the vote of confidence in me and Sunil Lunal Ma for your unwavering support. Words cannot express how encouraging it is to be recognized this way. Well, friends, a lot of our actions are influenced by people who are in and around us. And their good deeds always have a rub on effect. As I grew up, my inspiration has been my mother, Mrs. Vidya Biju, who has ceaselessly and tirelessly brought relief by caring for people in distress. She did this in her individual capacity without having any organizational staff support, many times spending her own money. But it took me so long to realize that I could give back to the society in my own way. About four years ago, my husband and I felt a strong desire to do something meaningful. And that's when 
we decided to dedicate our free time in assisting seniors. With reference to Nyasa Care and its interests, I am very lucky to have found people like Radhika Kuru, Tushar Kamat, and Anand Bhatkamkar and their spouses who share this passion for care of seniors and at times even greater than my own passion, if not equal to. Today, when I am being honored by Kandra Saraswat Association on this Women's International Day, I would equally give credit to my entire team and co-believers who are providing superlative care to seniors through my organization. We carefully plan our life around education, career, financial stability, etc. However, I feel we must plan for our elders' life after retirement. Many seniors find themselves in this stage when their loved ones can't be there for them, either because they are far away or they are busy or they're just not there for them. They long for companionship and also they need attention to their health. While we have our family and friends around, it becomes hard for everyone to find time from their busy schedules and always be around them. Or move in, the second choice is move in with children. Easier said than done. It involves uprooting ourselves, possibly even relocating to a new uh, location or a country, leaving our environment behind, our comfort behind, our familiarity behind of our current surroundings. So this is where Nyasa Care steps in. Now, Nyasa Care uh, aims to empower our seniors to lead a self-sufficient, independent life with com in, within the comforts of their own homes. We operate under these four guiding principles. From weekly visits to daily calls, our uh, dedicated sathis provide emotional support, assistance with digital needs, and opportunities for seniors to showcase their talents through our platform, RM. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this platform and been a part of this entertainment platform. Additionally, we also prioritize their safety within with our 24 by 7 emergency ambulance services, uh, which is available to everyone. Now we have something more as well. At Nyasa Care, we believe in empowering women, our sathis, who are our backbone, with their life experiences, not only accompany the seniors, but also bring in dignity and a sense of belonging to the senior citizens' lives. It is not just a job for them, but it's a calling, a commitment. The love and the gratitude that we receive from all the seniors fills our hearts with warmth. I think no money can buy that kind of affection. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Kagra Saraswat Association for their support. I invite you or each one of you to visit our website and witness the dedication and passion that drives our mission. However, we cannot achieve all of this alone. We need your support to spread a word around regarding Nyasa Care and ensure that no citizen, no senior citizen ever feels neglected or unloved. Together, let's build a world where everyone, regardless of age, feels valued and cherished. Thank you and Namaskar. Aditi Pachi, your dedication to the care of senior citizens is actually very admirable. You know, especially in today's society where children even if they want to, may not be able to be with their parents due to their work commitments or any other commitments. Your presence makes a lot of difference to them. And I'm sure they can sleep peacefully at nights, knowing fully well that NISA care and you are there for their parents. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce our next dignitary, Dr. Suman Munkur Pachi. She has a B.Sc. degree in Home Science from MS University of Baroda, Vadodara. She holds a M.Sc. and Ph.D. from Mumbai University. 
She is a research consultant with Academic Research Consultancy Services and provides research and publication assistance to students, researchers, academicians, and lifelong learners. She is a visiting faculty for MTech students at ICT Mumbai and a PhD research co-guide at Amity University, New Pandit. She delivers guest lectures at Amity University, National Institute of Fashion Technology, Mumbai, and also conducts webinars. Before retiring, she was an associate professor at the Department of Textiles and Apparel Designing, Sir Vichildas Thakarsik College of Home Science Autonomous. She has authored two books on research. She has over 40 journal article publications. She has presented research papers not only in at national levels, but also at international conferences held at Melbourne, Istanbul, Mauritius, and Brunei. She was felicitated by Canara Bank in March 2018 for her contribution to the textile industry. She has been granted patent for product and process on flexible packaging blanket, sheet and method thereof in March 2022. She was invited as a speaker at faculty development programs at Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai, Indian Institute of Carpet Technology, Badoi, and also as a keynote speaker at the International Conference on Indigenous Practices organized by MS University of Baroda. She has won many awards and recognition for excellence in research category, science and technology from Maharashtra, Woman Researcher Award from REST Society for Research International in June 2020. She was also felicitated by KSA on 26 November 2020 during the convocation. She has received a silver medal by Society of Dyers and Colorists UK at York. The Star Researcher Live Gold Ambassador India for Cactus Communications, Seattle, USA. I now request Maitre Pachi to kindly felicitate Dr. Suman Munkur Pachi. Dr. Suman Munkur Pachi, the list of your very impressive <laughs> achievements is very long. Congratulations. And I wish you all the very best. KSA honors Dr. Suman Munkur for mentoring the lifelong learners. Thank you, Maitri Pachi. Suman Pachi, may I request you to say a few words, please? Thank you, Ashwini, for your kind introduction. And thank you, Maitri Pachi, for uh, your encouraging words. I'm deeply grateful to Kandra Saraswath Association for having given this opportunity to speak of my experiences. It's a privilege, and I'm feeling blessed with this honor for mentoring lifelong learners, coaching research scholars. And this has been an occupation for me after retirement. Research has become an important aspect of everybody's life. And at a national level, as given in a recent article in Times of India, India now ranks the fourth position in research output and the ninth position in research citations in the world. So research is gaining a lot of importance than before. When retirement and lockdown came together, um, there were a lot of webinars that we could attend from home. And I was, uh, it's a blessing in disguise. Uh, I got to attend a lot of webinars Sometimes even four in a day, listening, understanding, taking notes that filled a lot of diaries. And there was a lot of knowledge that I gained, which I couldn't during my uh, service period. One such webinar, which was organized by the Canada Saraswat Association, was on business entrepreneurship. I remember it was Diwali 2020 around that time and that's when budding entrepreneurs like me saw a ray of hope. Mr. Ashok Samshi volunteered to take a weekend business management program 
over 16 weekends. And that helped me greatly. Learned new skills, learned Excel, building and maintaining a website, sumanmundkuru.com, writing blogs, creating newsletters, using social media to market and a lot of other things. Attending the KSA Organized Weekend MBA program also took me to an author journey of uh, Mr. Som Bartla's Authorpreneur course. And I wrote two books, but specifically for researchers who couldn't find, find it difficult to select a topic and make a proposal for PhD admission. Unlike my published papers, publishing uh, research was a different game in journals, but the book writing was totally different. So not only writing, self-publishing and marketing was a new game for me. So it was the ECM, the Entrepreneur Club meetings that I attended regularly and the networking that happened that helped me progress in my journey. As Secretary of Home Science Association of India, it helped me connect to various faculties in uh, um, Indian universities. But uh, signing up as an ambassador for India with researcher life of Cactus Communication helped me reach out to researchers in universities abroad. As a trustee on the board of Society of Dyers and Colorists Education Charity. It is a chapter, India chapter of SDC UK. It has given several opp opportunities in spreading education on color, especially because I belong to textile, textile industry being the most polluting, second most polluting industry after chemicals. And the harmful effects of dyes and chemicals are not known even for those who are working in the textile industry. So as giving back to society, uh, the focus has been on conserving water and conserving energy, use of reducing the amount of chemicals or finding alternate sustainable processing of textiles, waste management, etc. Coming from a girls' school, all girls' school, and with a home science background, it has been women who have influenced me. And I have role models in Savitri Pandit, who was head of department clothing and textiles at MS University, Baroda, when I was graduating. B. Tarabai, who was the principal of Lady Irwin, New Delhi. My mother-in-law and my mother, who were my greatest influencers, who pushed me to do what I could. Both were my greatest critics and my strength. Being employed with the Sir Vithaldas Thakarsi College of Home Science in Mumbai, I had different opportunities, different experiences, unique experiences. And I was blessed to be part of SNDT Women's University, which was started by Maharshi Karve to promote women's education in 1916. And of the 90, 108 years now, I'm glad that I could give my best to the 29 years in promoting education in textiles and apparel designing to the graduating students. Many of them were first generation into higher education. Seeing them blossom during their graduation itself was satisfying. But being actively involved in their placements, internships, educational trips, Organizing socials and cultural events, exhibitions, workshops, trainings, and being involved with them in their social service projects gave a lot of learning. So I realized it is more important to be a good person than a good teacher. And being a teacher, mentoring came naturally to me. And this new profession that I found was. Uh, very inspiring, motivating, encouraging, not for the students and for me, because lifelong learners, I can put them into four categories, students who have just passed their post-graduation, want to do a PhD program, so to help them through 
the process of admission. The second, those who have already started on a PhD journey and maybe on the verge of quitting, I have helped three who have jump started or rather restarted their PhD work and one of them has completed. So instead of quitting, all they needed was a motivational boost. The third, mid-career researchers in their 40s, in their 50s, who had the latent desire to acquire a doctorate for their professional growth. There are people from corporate, from industries who want to do a PhD. And the fourth category of lifelong learners, the retirement, after retirement, people who want to do a PhD or just publish papers, write articles, or just share the knowledge that they have gained over the years. A retired general manager, aged 74, has recently published two journal articles. So it's not only research, uh, conducting research, communicating research, and making research visible are all three, all three aspects are important. So research scholars from any field, any discipline who approach mentoring, this has given me a wider exposure and helped me improve my patience, my skills, and by the grace of God, my upbringing, my experiences, my grounding has helped me mentor these lifelong researchers. Lifelong research has kept me interested, curious, in a receptive mind and diverts my attention from negatives. It has helped me exchange knowledge and sharing of knowledge. So in gratitude, today I lead a life of contentment, blessed with supporting spouse, loving relatives, friends, and my message to all the listeners, never stop learning. The same message came from our chief guest today. Continue learning. To women who chose not to work outside home, stop introducing yourself as I am just a housewife. Instead, say I am a lifelong learner. So you will keep yourself on a learning mode always. So uh, we live, we all live through learning from our experiences and from others' experiences. So each woman here has a story to tell. And I'm deeply thankful to Kendra Saraswath Association, to CSN members, members of the Entrepreneur Club, and my well-wishers and my loved ones for this great honor. Thank you. Thank you, Suman Pachi. Actually, when I read your biodata, I was really inspired because the field of dyers is a very rare career choice. And you have made a remarkable entry and progress uh, into that career. And today, you really made a very inspiring speech. It's actually true. You have proved that retirement is not the end, but it is the beginning of a new journey. It is a beginning of a new career. And I'm sure. There are many out there who are listening who are truly inspired. Thank you, Suman Pachi. Very true, Ashwini. Just want to add, so, yeah. Suman Pachi, you are, it was really, really inspiring to hear you. Thank you. So uh, now we move on to our next dignitary, Dr. Bharati Nadkarni Pachi. After obtaining master's degree in pharmacy, Bharati Pachi did her PhD in pharmaceutical chemistry and joined the intellectual property team at Sun Pharma, India's largest pharma company. She grew with the company and gathered a lot of expertise in pharma IP. She rose to be the global vice president, IP litigation and portfolio planning at Sun Pharma. After 19 years at Sun Pharma, she founded Appropriate IP Services in August 2019. This is based on her experience of over two decades in designing and managing global IP strategies for pharmaceutical products. She has experience spread across brand and generic products, including patent design around strategies, 
patent challenges and IP creation. At Appropriate IP Services, Bharati Pachi and her team provide support to pharma companies as well as to law firms on matters related to patents and overall business strategy. Her firm prides in being a 100% woman organization. She hires qualified, experienced women who have been compelled to take a career break due to family reasons, as well as those ladies who need the flexibility to handle their children and families. Currently, her firm has four postgraduate women who are handling various complex IP matters for their clients. And she has received the following awards. She was the recipient of the third annual Women Leaders in Life Sciences Empowerment Award by American Conference Institute in Boston, USA in July 2018. She has also received the IPR Leadership Award for excellent contribution in the field of patents from Niti Aayog and Social Talks in February 2020. I now request Maitri Pachi to kindly felicitate Dr. Bharati Nadkarni. Yes, it is my privilege. Dr. Bharati Nadkarni Pachi, congratulations. It is really heartening to see your achievements and the accolades you have received. Wish you all the very best. Tese honors Dr. Bharati Nadkarni for Women Empowerment in Life Sciences. Thank you, Maitre Pachi. Bharati Pachi, may I request you to share your experiences, please? Um, hello, everyone. Um, thank you, KSA, for taking the effort to put together this program and for the uh, award that has been uh, uh, given to me today. It's really a pleasure. Um, to begin, uh, the note of thank you. I really don't know uh, where I should begin, but I think fair to start with uh, where life began. So uh, thank you to my mother uh, for the genes, if not anything else. Uh, I think um, I owe a lot to her uh, because of her uh, hard work, her um, intelligence, and uh, she is the one who gave me ambition. So thank you, I. Uh, I hope to hear bhakti is. Um, the next person I want to thank is uh, my mother-in-law, Amma. Uh, Amma Parit is well. So uh, thank you, Amma Anu. Um, nothing would be possible without the two of you. I'm clearly emotional about this. Um, but uh, yes, um, Anu, uh, it was only because of you that I did a PhD. And you said um, I'd be thankful because I didn't want to do one. So yes, I'm thankful. Uh, thank you so much. I wouldn't be here without all of that. Um, not to mention... Um, my spouse, Amit, thank you for all your support, as always. And my daughter, Shriya, who understands my ambition and supports it. So, uh, you know, this is the village that brought me up. This is the village that supports me every day and uh, makes me who I am. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, my gotna kitli tsaliyo hai, padai tasati, ten padunga, because uh, Aditi Gangori, respect for what you're doing. Uh, Suman Pachi, for doing something at that age and to, for supporting research the way you are today, it's amazing. A lot of respect to you as well. And I know that the other women who are getting the accolades today are equally, equally inspiring to all of us. And we must draw inspiration. Uh, because this is an event that is also about uh, inspiring the young generation, I just also want to take this opportunity. And Magutna, Magal Sali Shriya Paraita, sir, how hai platform given at least Tika Sangu try karcha, sir, that uh, don't stop yourself. You have ask for support because a lot of times, as women, we short, fall short of asking for support. Uh, there's nothing wrong in asking for support because support is needed everywhere, whether you are at home or you are at work or even anywhere outside. If you want to perform well, ask for support. There's nothing wrong. It doesn't make you small. But the kind of support that you get is actually like a trampoline that can help you jump and uh, rise a lot above. So don't feel shy uh, do, in hiring help or asking help from parents, in-laws, friends, uh, peers, whoever it is. It goes a long way and it makes you the person that you are. Young girls, uh, I think you should read a lot. Um, I know it sometimes is uh, 
you know mak velna mak bhair vachcha sa mak friends an sangati vachcha sa is all good but thode vats ka reading helps it goes a long way uh, so read what you like uh, very topics related to your profession not related to your profession but do read and uh, an equally important message that i also want to give is network please network a lot use the network that your parents have that your family has your uncles and aunts have uh, there is a lot to learn from the network and not to mention that the network can take you places uh, i i you know it has worked fantastically well for me is the network uh, that is now helping me in my uh, profession in this um, independent uh, consulting that i am doing right now so uh, this is all equally very important um, you know I, i also want to take this opportunity to say that uh, i am not an amchi but i'm married into an amchi family and uh, i feel like i'm a part of this fam community now it's a fabulous community uh, i think uh, i have not personally seen any community that is so evolved that is uh, so uh, that gives so much importance to education and also believes in supporting women and uh, in uh, pushing them forward and seeing them rise and truly taking happiness in their uh, rise uh, it, it's an amazing amazing thing that we can teach the rest of the world i do that on my part uh, in telling people about this community and i think we should highlight that more is that's a lesson to be learned from this community for everyone uh, in terms of um, getting higher education in terms of making women more independent and empowering women uh, because uh, you know very honestly just look at all the women in our community uh, and each one of them uh, brings a different kind of a value each one of them is educated they all speak excellent english they are great communicators and the kind of art that each woman has it just is amazing amazing so you know let's also draw inspiration from all these women uh, for ourselves and for the people around us so that's definitely a message uh, we should give out uh, last but not the least i think uh, i also want to thank uh, the women who work for me like i said uh, and like uh, uh, ashwini was uh, introducing me we, i have an all women team uh, it, it's really heartening to support women uh because these are women who really want to do a lot but may not have support and i'm trying to do my best by giving them the flexibility that they want in return i get a lot of support uh in uh, delivering uh the work that we do for our clients and uh, you know for just just doing excellent work uh, it's amazing to have these uh, women rally around me and uh, support me they are all in different cities but uh, they are with me in spirit and they just support me in everything um so um you know that i just wanted to say all of this and thank all these people in my life thank you ksa once again uh, for hosting this event and uh, thank you all the women who are uh, getting the awards today and all the other women who are watching this uh, for making this truly special thank you thank you bharati pachi your journey in ip services is quite unique and uh, it's very laudable that uh, you have an organization which gives so much importance to women and hires them and gives them a second opportunity and you rightly said behind every successful woman is a family who believes in her more than they believe in the society so it was a wonderful speech thank you so much uh, our next dignitary is mrs arti sagur pachi Mrs Arti Sagur she has a master's degree in science botany as well as MA in drawing and painting she is a passionate educationist an artist a motivational speaker and a life coach she has a rich experience of 30 years in the field of education as well as the corporate world she left her successful corporate career and since 2013 She is the CEO of Parisar Asha. This is a center for educational research and training in Mumbai. Right to right education for all is its motto and this is irrespective of caste, community, gender and economic conditions. Parisar Asha is a Mumbai based NGO that supports schools to provide joyful 21st learning as uh, 21st century learning system through an environment and art since 1982 parisar asha also works in creating awareness about the environment and mental health 
as well as it works on various social projects for the girl, child and women empowerment. Aarti Pachi believes in bringing continuous innovation in the education system and she has achieved this through various innovative projects such as Ecotech World School Program, Free Parenting Helpline to address mental health issues by mental health professionals, innovative workshops for students by expert trainers, capacity building workshops and training programs for teachers, free parenting programs for parents for a sustainable tomorrow. Parisar Asha works with all socio-economical educational institutions, including minority communities, as per the guidelines of UN's Sustainable Developmental Goals. In the last 11 years, these programs have benefited 3,500 schools, 5 lakh students, 4 lakh families, and 15,000 teachers. She has been honored by many institutions for her work during the pandemic. Parisar Asha started many free online initiatives so that the education for lower income group students would continue. These include free spoken English, study circle, art and theatre re enrichment, reading clubs, etc. She also introduced special webinars on mental health during the pandemic. She was the executive chairman of the Women's Movement for Peace and Prosperity, initiated by the Times Group. Recently, she has been featured in Times of India's coffee table book, Wings. She was also a member of Anti-Sexual Harassment Committee for Women and Children for Maharashtra Police State Intelligence Department. Under her leadership, Parisar Asha has won many prestigious awards, including Reimagine Learning Challenge Pace Setter by Lego Foundation and Ashoka Change Makers, Global NGO Award 2016 by the World CSR Congress for Outstanding Contribution in Education for Sustainability, and many more. Aarti Pachi herself has won many awards and recognition. Amity University's Women, Women's Excellence Award 2022, Leadership Award 2020 by Jamnalal Bajaj Management Institute, the Maharashtra Guru Gaurav Award, and the list is endless. I now request Maitre Pachi to kindly felicitate Aarti Sahur Pachi. Aarti Sahur Pachi, congratulations. What can we say? You know, the so many achievements you have worked in the education field and your innovative techniques have helped so many people. You have touched many lives. It's great. I wish you all the best and may you win many more accolades. Thank you so much. KSA honors Mrs. Aarti Sarul for women empowerment through education. Thank you, Maitre Pachi. Aarti Pachi, may, may you please may, can you say some words? My God, I'm so honored and I'm so emotional right now. Uh, thank you so much, Ashwini Pachi, for this wonderful uh, introduction. And uh, thank you, Maitri Pachi. And thank you, KSA. And by the way, uh, just like Bharti Pachi, even I am not a born uh, Konkani. So my Konkani is a little uh, difficult. But still, I uh, you know, requested my sister-in-law. I said, please give me a few uh, sentences so that I can start on a Konkani note. So here I would like to say, you know, like it comes straight from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I know I may not have that sur and tal of that Konkani uh, uh, language. It will be flat like Marathi, but please bear with me because this is coming straight from my heart. So Chitrapur Saraswatan Gele Canara Saraswat Association ne Aji Maka felicitate Kele. Ya Khatir Apna Sarvank Chihau Runi Asa. Maka Barez National and International Awards Mele Zalari Atse Occasion Magal Khatir Special Asa. Aji uh, Makani Magal family Sarvank must kushi zalya uh, Ani Magal Badal must Abhivan Dista Karan Aji Amgele community, community ne Maka felicitate kede. So thank you everyone. Thank you KSA for this honor and uh, you know sharing this space with all these women achievers and dynamic women achievers. There's so much to learn and so much to be inspired from them. 
and i would also like to thank uh, parisar asha my organization uh, because of parisar asha i would uh, be you know like uh, able to touch so many lives and transform so many lives uh, yeah that was uh, uh, in fact i would like to say few words about parisar asha like uh, parisar i'm sure everybody knows parisar means environment and asha is hope so for us this environment is not just your physical environment but it's your social environment it's your spiritual environment it's your academic environment it's your home environment it's your work environment today the kind of person we are is because the kind of environment we have received so very simple example of that is uh, like all our mother tongues like especially all over here your mother tongue is konkani my mother tongue is marathi but now i have picked up konkani because of the environment so environment plays very very important role in everyone's life we learn unknowingly so many things from our environment so this is exact philosophy of parisar asha and this is my second inning at parisar asha so i had started my career you know after doing my masters in botany uh, i thought parisar asha means something to do with environment so i i was really happy and excited i said okay i will be able to contribute what i have learned but when i came to parisar asha i realized this is much more broader term and we are working with school school children because we believe in catching them young because these are the foundational years when we can actually impact their lives and we can create a wholesome a uh, happy individual uh, you know uh, where we can actually have uh, a good human being because today with ai and with this digital technology and everything we are creating machines we are not creating humans today uh, i'm sure everybody will agree to me you know because there are there is knowledge but what about skills and what about attitudes and values so this is the entire wholesome program what we are providing to the schools and we don't go to these high end schools because still now you know like in these mediocre schools we are still following rote learning ratta maro exam do bahar ao sab bhul jao and this is only for the degrees you know what we have been uh, studying basically and then uh, when you are then unsuccessful in life uh, and uh, that's yeah, where you know like we have been working with so many schools we wow. have our own training programs we have worksheets workbooks we have been working uh, with uh, 3500 plus schools we also have uh, different programs like because this environment and education goes hand in hand so we also promote this physical environment we also promote emotional well being because uh, today uh, especially post covid i am sure everybody has uh become so aware about their mental health oh. so this is something what we are doing completely free of cost mental health services we have a toll free helpline so anybody would like to uh, access these helplines because we have counselors we have psychologists we have uh, psychiatric doctors on board who are providing these counseling services absolutely free of cost so this is uh, and every time you know like we come across with new challenges in the society we are trying to come up with the solutions for that and i have a team of uh, women and uh, i i'm sure you know like women are actually uh, helping each other uh, and uh, of course uh, this is this was quite challenging for me to take up as a ceo because uh, for 10 years i was with parisar asha you know like immediately after my masters uh, i was with parisar asha as a teacher trainer come teaching its designer then next 10 years i was with the corporate world and uh, it was a biggest decision of my life to give up my corporate world and come back to parisar asha because that was the last wish you know my founder director uh, gloria de souza who started this parisar asha organization she was uh, terminally ill on a cancer she was a cancer patient and uh, she was on a death bed so it was a major challenge for me to give up that secured uh, you know high paying corporate career and then come back to parisar asha but yeah uh, i mean i took that decision people that time they actually thought you know like i've gone mad because unfortunately the tragedy had hit uh, my personal life also i had lost my husband in a car accident 12 years ago and then people actually thought ki i am completely mad you know like being a single mother and of course my mother in law is also there with me so you know taking care of the family how is going to be because this is a completely philanthropic organization but yeah i think somewhere that decision what i took you know uh, listening to my heart and my soul and that ha- that has been paying me because then uh, actually miracles happen because our intentions were so good that you know to do something for the society i have actually seen miracles happening in my life 
today my daughter is accomplished you know uh, a biotechnologist who is in london today i have my mother in law over here and uh, you know it's so peaceful when you end of the day when you see you have been you know instrumental in helping so many lives that really gives so much of satisfaction so i think you know here i would like to uh, since it's a women's day celebration i would like to you know give my advice my piece of advice to all the women out over here not only women i mean this is for everyone so this is my a b c d of life you know because um, i have gone through uh, i mean this through the situations and where i had to design my own uh, solutions over there i have to take own decisions so this is my a b c d for life so a stands for accept accept whatever comes in your life but then aspire to do better and take action so these a's are very important for me b b stands for you know be positive be sensitive towards everything uh, be compassionate c stands for I, i'm sure everybody knows this 21st century life skills because we are all uh, you know today living in 21st century whether you are a woman man or whether you are in any profession or you are a student uh, or you are a doctor or you are anybody these 21st century life skills are very very important very crucial for us these all stands uh, starts with uh, letter c english letter c so that is uh, communication critical thinking collaboration and creativity so these four skills have to be there with everyone to be successful and d is very very important d is discipline and d is determination also so at this note i think uh, you know in fact you can keep on adding uh, different different uh, letters into that because uh, this is somewhere you know like what we i realize you know i also need to inspire others i also need to uh, you know like give that confidence to these ladies uh, who are going through different challenges in life so we conduct these lot of workshops with these women with students with teachers and especially i love conducting parenting session because today unfortunately we don't take care of our home environment today uh, you know uh, these children they go to the school we are paying putting them into best possible school but every child is in the school for 5 6 hours maximum time the child is in the home environment so that environment really plays a very very important role and here there is no way where we can actually educate parents you know how to handle the home environment because that is impacting the child's personality completely so we conduct these free parenting sessions for uh, parents so that we help them how to nurture their child you know so that uh, i know today's world uh, parents they don't have time for their children but whatever time they have that has to be a quality time so there are a lot of things we have been doing and we are so passionate and we are very happy that and i'm really feeling blessed that i got these opportunities i got these uh, situations in my life so that i could you know contribute or it was the best version of me you know so every time the new situation comes it really helps the challenges really helps us to grow better to become a better human being so thank you so much once again ksa for giving me this opportunity and uh, you know uh, honoring me it's I, i'm really uh, grateful and uh, it's my biggest honor thank you so much thank you arti pachi it is really amazing how you left a you know a, a high paying corporate job to take parisar heights uh, parisar parisar asha to great heights of success it is really amazing and uh, i always believe that imparting education is like lighting a diya the diya lights another diya but its own brightness doesn't go down and in today's day and age when children are really li- leading a very stressful life a very competitive life and there there are great expectations that parents have on the students the counseling for the parents surely must be making the students life better so thank you so much Uh, now we move on to our next dignitary dr shobha udipi pachi dr shobha udipi she completed her msc with food and nutrition from sdt women's university she obtained phd in foods and nutrition as well as her post doctoral fellowship from purdue university usa under the guidance of dr avenel kirksey She was professor in the Department of Food Science and Nutrition, SNDT Women's University, and then became the head of the department in 1998. Uh, 
she retired in 2016. In SNDT, she has guided 20 successful PhD students and is currently guiding three students. No wonder then that she has been awarded the Best Teacher Award by Government of Maharashtra in 2013. She was past National President, Indian Dietetic Association. She was Honorary Director, Integrative Nutrition and Ayurveticals Medical Research Center, Kasturba Health Society. Professor Emeritus, University of Transdisciplinary Health Sciences and Technology, Bengaluru. She has been the principal investigator for 56 projects supported by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, University Grants Commission, Department of Biotechnology, UNICEF and International Development Research Center, Canada Harvest Plus and the Armands Board of California. She has also worked extensively in community development programs for urban development and training under Government of Maharashtra's development programs. She worked in one of the largest slums in Mumbai for 10 years and coordinated the training programs of Government of Maharashtra. The, her areas of interest are maternal and child nutrition and health, nutrition and health education, clinical nutrition with focus on cancer, diabetes and obesity, and many more. She has many publications to her credit, 86 research papers in national and international journals, nine chapters in books, five books, 51 research projects undertaken, including industry, with 512 citations and 6,188 reads. I now request Maitre Pachi to kindly felicitate Dr. Shobha Uripi. Congratulations, Shobha Uripachi, on your various achievements in the food and nutrition field. Not only in the education field, but you have worked in the health and you have worked a lot in the underprivileged, for the underprivileged, which is really remarkable. Congratulations once again and wish you all the best. KC honors Dr. Shobha Udipi for contribution in medical research. Shobha Pachi, may I request you to share your experiences, please? At the outset, I thank uh, Kandra Saraswat Association for thinking me worthy of this award. And uh, thank you very much, Ashwini and uh, my cousin Heyman, who also brought me to your notice. Thank you, Dr. Masurkar and others. Thank you, Maitre Pachi, for your kind words. At the outset, I would like to place this award at the feet of Pooja Swamiji, not only the present one, but Anand Ashram Swamiji and uh, Paridnan Ashram Swamiji and my beloved master, Sri Satisai Baba, without whose grace I would not be where I am. I'm extremely thankful to two wonderful parents who always instilled in me and my sister that education is the stepping stone to success. I chose a career in nutrition in 1971 when it was very little known in the world. And I'm very thankful to Sri Ulas Goka and one of my distant relatives who told me, you take up this area of work you see how well it will develop and be appreciated in the years to come. I'm also very thankful to my elder sister Pratibha Kulkarni and my brother-in-law Sri Surendra, Dr. Surendra Kulkarni, who have been role models and a great source of support. I have been graced to do very well in my academic career throughout. I worked at SNDT and like uh, Suman Munkur, I was also from an all-girls school and I was at SNDT, which is an all-women's university. Very, very thankful that two visionaries like Maharshi Dondokesha Karve and Sir Vithal Das Thakarsi, who gave the finance to Karveji to start this university. If when I chose this, this career, 
I looked at the syllabus and I found that it was hardly available anywhere else. And so I chose this. I'm extremely thankful to Dr. Ravenel Kirksey, who shaped me as a very good academician, I will say. Not very good, but good academician. Instilled in me the desire to read and to research and to write. And today also, I'm extremely grateful to my two mentors and Guru Shri Ashok Vaidya and Dr. Rama Vaidya, who at the age of 87 are still very, very active. As you mentioned, Ashwini ji, I retired in 2016. And then it is at that time that Rama Madam came and asked me whether I would like to join their medical research center, which they have founded. And so I have joined there as on a totally voluntary capacity. And I'm surrounded by very loving people, all people who do voluntary work in terms of either research or in terms of services, medical and nutrition services, or even for rehabilitation services for challenged people. My message to the young women of today is, is very much like Maitri Pachi said and all others have said. There are always challenges in life. But um, a challenge is always put up or thrown before you to make you a stronger individual. And uh, as uh, I have read from Baba's uh, teachings, a beautiful gold ornament cannot be made without... Uh, you know, heating the gold and then beating it. So life is like that. Life is going to be a series of difficulties. And when you overcome, you emerge as a stronger person in the whole process. And it gives you tremendous strength. As a teacher, I have encountered innumerable number of girls with so many difficulties that it first and foremost sensitized in me at a fairly young age. I came back to India at the age of 29. That empathy and compassion are extremely important qualities to have. And that is what you need to work with when you work with students. Transfer of knowledge or transactions will keep going on because that is the profession we are in. But the love that you have for your students and the love that students have for you is something that lasts forever. And so with these words, I will end. And I once again thank all of you for thinking me worthy of this honor. And uh, I am so proud, as uh, Bharti Nadkarni said, to be a Saraswat woman. I always tell my uh, colleagues, you don't know my community. And you need to know it because we have, you know, whenever I am introduced and they say, what is this Chitrapur Saraswat community? So I said, oh, don't you know, haven't you heard of Girish Karnad? Haven't you heard of so-and-so, so-and-so? I belong to that community. So they think I am boasting, but I think we are a community to boast about because all of us are low profile, hardworking and by the Lord's grace, intelligent uh, people. And last but not the least, I do want to share with younger ones that deep faith in the Lord and surrender to the Lord is what makes for success in the long term. Everything will come to us at the right time, at the right moment. It is ordained for us. And so we should not be frustrated when things don't happen the way we expect it to happen. Aarti Pachi has shared her debacles in life and yet how beautifully she has risen like a phoenix from that debacle. So thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, Shobha Pachi. Uh, I would actually like to say that your journey in medical research is truly amazing and profound. And uh, the speech that you made just now is truly very inspiring for all of us. And you are right. Challenges come to all of us and it is something which also gives us a lot of strength because when we overcome those challenges, we are able to reach the destination and achieve our goals. So thank you so much, Shobha Pachi. Uh, I would, uh, now as we come to the end of our program, I would request Smita Mavin Purve Pachi to give the vote of thanks and to recite the Sabha Samapi Prarthana. Thank you.
thank you, Ashwini. Uh, I it's been a wonderful program, and we have heard all these ladies who have achieved so much in their lives, who have empathy for the people in the community in outside the world, and who have faith in themselves and the people who have struggled in their own lives and come uh, you know come out victorious doing things for others and inspiring people it's really a very very uh, touching uh, uh, in, you know uh, experience and uh, i i thank uh, canara saraswat association also for identifying these ladies and bringing them out so that they can talk to us and you know we otherwise we would have never known about them they are all working in their own field and doing well but we don't know about them so this has been really a very very educational experience i thank all of you for whatever you have done and i really really appreciate i think the whole community appreciates what you people are doing for everybody uh, so please accept this maitrayi sanadi maitrayi pachi and uh, aditi pachi suman pachi bharti i can't call you a pachi you are a very young person <laughs> arti who i have met recently in our saraswat mahila samaj also and shobha pachi shobha pachi your faith in the lord and what you have communicated is really very touching and i think it is essential for all of us to have that especially in today's world when things happen without you know without our knowledge what is going to be our future we do not know in that you know on that uh, uh, platform this sort of a uh, uh, faith is very very essential so thanks to all of you and thanks to ksa also for organizing this wonderful function i take uh, uh, i take thanks to i say thank you to also um, our rajan kalanpur mam from our canara saraswat association who has organized this entire uh, you know the the online uh, uh, function and to vivek shete and rahul jain of entor pharmaceuticals who have uh, who have given their support in holding this online function thank you very much uh, i i will end uh, with our sabha samapti prarthana nandan tu sadhaka sarve vinashyantu vidushaka avastha shambhavi mestu prasannostu guru sada sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu मा कचि दुखमाया ओ शांति 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 थैंक यू स्मिता पची Uh, i would also like to uh, say one thing that uh, the flyers for today were uh, uh, done by uh, rupali kapnadak savan and i would really thank her for this wonderful uh, uh, flyers that she created which helped us to spread the news of our program far and wide and of course our case is stuck for their back office support thank you everybody thank you thank you thank you, well, thank you very much all thank of you. you god thank bless you. you all thanks Thank you everyone. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 God bless you all. <laughs>